Yeah. The People's Council. You tuned in, case closed. Courts in session. Now, welcome to the show. It's a new day. No more wild, wild west. You better know the law so you won't be in the mess. Throw the book at you. Help you learn the lesson. Now, we gon' learn together so it won't be no stressing. The People's Council is your advocate. We got your legal advice. This is good as it gets. Legal principles and topics with current events. Yeah, it's the People's Council. Let the session begin. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Today we want to talk about Creative Commons licenses and give a broad overview of the six licenses that copyright holders can deploy to share their work and still maintain underlying copyright ownership. I do have another video here on the channel about the CC0 license that helps copyright owners put works out into the public domain. That's a separate idea, so please go check that video out after this. In order to talk about Creative Commons licenses, we first need to know a little bit about U.S. copyright law. Under the U.S. Federal Code, copyright owners have an exclusive set of rights over the works they create. Generally speaking, those rights include the right to sell, copy, distribute, display, perform, and make derivatives. Most Creative Commons licenses allow copyright holders to share those normally exclusive rights with others while still maintaining their underlying copyright ownership. Let's take a look at each of these in turn. The first is called a CC BY license that enables a work to be distributed, remixed, and built upon even for commercial purposes as long as proper attribution is given to the original creator. Creativecommons.org has examples on how to give proper attribution so you can go check that out when you get a chance. The BY, the BY in the name, refers to the attribution, which is a critical part of the license. Failure to do so could violate the license and therefore violate the underlying copyright. So important point. Just because something is out under Creative Commons does not mean you still cannot violate someone's copyright. Let's keep that in mind as we move forward. The other notable term of this license is the permission to use the work commercially without any type of upfront payment or royalty due. It's completely free. The next license we'll review is the CC BY SA license. It is very similar to the CC BY license. However, it adds a new twist. Here the work, it can be distributed, remixed, and built upon, even for commercial purposes, as long as proper attribution is given to the original creator and any new work using it must be licensed under identical terms with the share alike SA feature. You've heard the phrase share and share alike? That's the key to this license. Sharing of the same terms, including the attribution, gives notice to a potential buyer of the work that a free version exists and where to find it. This also signals to new users that they could also make derivatives and commercially benefit as long as they follow the license. Next up is the CC BY NC license, which allows reusers to distribute, remix, and adapt and build upon the material with attribution, but only for non-commercial purposes. So here you are able to make copies, give away copies, and create derivatives, but you cannot do so for primarily commercial purposes. We'll revisit this aspect in another segment, but the key here is non-commercial. Next up is CC BY NC SA. As you can see, the licenses build on each other. We've now seen all of these terms before, but now they are all in a single license here in this form. The key here is to follow all the different limitations. You can give the work away, perform it, copy it, and make derivatives, but you could not do so for commercial purposes and you must share the modified work under identical terms. And of course you have to give attribution. Next, we'll look at the CC BY ND license. As you can see, we are now introducing a new limitation. You can still sell, copy, distribute, and perform the work as long as there's proper attribution, but you cannot create derivatives. So that's very important to note uh, for this particular license. Building on that, the last option we'll review is the CC BY NC ND license. Here the work can be distributed, remixed, and built upon as long as proper attribution is given to the original creator. But this license is only for non-commercial uses and no derivatives are allowed. Now that we've looked at all six licenses, let's take a look at a couple key terms that apply to all of them. First, once applied, the licenses cannot be revoked from a work as long as the copyright holds. So for example, if you add a no derivative limitation to your work, that limitation expires once the copyright expires. Second, you must own the copyright to put the license on the work. To state the obvious, you cannot release someone else's copyright protected work under a Creative Commons license. Now, if the copyright is expired and a work is in the public domain, you could create a derivative that you would own the copyright for, and then if you so choose, put that new work out under Creative Commons license. So as you can see, there are several ways to allow various uses of your work and still maintain the underlying copyright. Please review all of the terms of these licenses should you want to use them or use works licensed under them at creativecommons.org. Thanks for tuning in. Please share and subscribe. Have a great day and stay out of trouble.